Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and this is a short video about using SQL Server 2012 Data Quality Services to do data cleansing. So I've got some other videos out there about how to create a knowledge base, which is a prerequisite for uh, using the DQS client to perform data cleansing. So once you have your knowledge base set up, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my other videos on how to set up your knowledge base, the steps involved are to create or open a data quality project to map the domains from the, your uh, source data quality, uh, your source data to the domains in the destination knowledge base, which contains the sample data, the rules, so on and so forth, and then perform the cleansing, uh, look at the results, and then export the corrected results. One thing to be aware of is that DQS never changes any of the source data. Um, get that question a lot when I'm talking about it. It creates a new set of data uh, that shows what are the suggested changes based on the rules and the values and then you take that output which is um, SQL Server uh, relational data or uh, CSV and then you do the further processing on that. So um, also you can put this uh, data quality cleansing task inside of an SSIS workflow. It's a little bit more advanced so I'll show that in another video. I just want to show the basic functionality here. So to do that, I'm going to switch over to the DQS client, and I'm going to uh, create a new data quality project, and I'm going to call this one Test for Demo, and then I'm going to use a knowledge base. I'm going to use the existing knowledge base rather than one that I've customized here. I'm going to go ahead and um, bring up that knowledge base, and I'll say Test, and uh, let me bring this up. Again, I'm on RC0 bits, so sometimes um, the performance isn't as snappy as what I hope and expect will be on RTM. And here are the domains inside of this sample. It's a geography um, sample. And then I can do two activities. I can do cleansing um, or I can do matching. Matching, you might remember from setting up the knowledge base, is looking for uh, duplicates. So cleansing is looking for suggested values, completed values, so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then I'm going to do uh, mapping. And um, while I'm waiting for this, to render, I'm going to pause the video. For the purposes of time, in the second uh, mapping section, I've uh, mapped some source data, uh, the city uh, column, to the domain from the knowledge base places. And you can add additional um, columns. You can also preview the source data inside of here. And then I'm going to click Next. And now I'm going to click Start to perform the cleansing. Now what's going to happen is the source data is going to be copied and then the um, various matching uh, algorithms are going to be run. And you can think of this as a kind of a data mining against your source data. You remember when we created the source uh, knowledge base we uh, added rules about the what is what constitutes correct data and we added um, values, specific values, so what are city names, so on and so forth. So again, this is going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause the video and then I will show you the results. Now you can see after a couple of minutes what has happened here is the algorithm has been run and we ran against 655 records. We had 217 correct according to our knowledge base, 42 corrected, and 144 suggested. We had zero invalids. And if you look, you can see the more information here. I can pass my mouse over it. And then I can go over to the Manage and View Results tab. And I can see the individual values. Again, I'm going to pause the video. And now we can see the individual values. And we can see that, um, for example, Alhambra was suggested to be changed to Alhambra City. And that's a suggested. And I can either approve or reject it. So if I say approve. Um, then I'm saying that value is okay. And uh, then I can see new values, invalid, and corrected. When I'm ready, I can click Next, and that'll take me over to Export. And then I can export to SQL Server or CSV, and I can export with the data or dating, data and cleansing information. So once I export this information, it's either a table or a CSV, and I can work with it subsequently. So it's quite simple once you set up your knowledge base. For more information, go to www.lynnlangit.com.